Welcome to our 50 Voices of MGH Charlestown Healthcare Center. We invite you to hear the testimonials of 50 people, patients, community residents, past and present employees, and others who have shaped the history of MGH Charlestown. MGH Charlestown has its humble beginnings in 1967 as a public health clinic for the city of Boston, which provided immunizations and free dental and vision services. In 1968, the Bunker Hill Health Center was established as an outpatient department of the Massachusetts General Hospital through the forward thinking of Mass General, Harvard Medical School, the J.F. Kennedy Family Service Center, and the Charlestown affiliate of Action for Boston Community Development. The city provided space, and to this day, the health center has an agreement with the city to occupy our location at 73 High Street. The health center was part of the national movement of health centers seeking to improve community health through the elimination of poverty by providing jobs and health care to local residents. In 2009, the health center partnered again with the City of Boston and Boston Housing Authority to provide care at 76 Monument Street. As the steward of health for the community, the health center provided care locally to children and families while connecting them to the hospital system when it was needed. It moved on to tackle chronic diseases and mental health conditions and was an early responder to the public health crisis of substance use disorder. The health center is the result of so many invested individuals who came together to make a special place because they cared about Charlestown. In the stories to follow, I believe you will hear the pride of being part of something bigger than themselves, the commitment to the community and those who trusted us with their health, and the joy that was received from giving to others. Today's work is about helping people do as much as they can to stay healthy from the get-go. MGH Charlestown is here for those residents who are our patients and others, but we know that people can only be as healthy as the environment they live in. That is our work for the next 50 years. The Health Center is a go-to organization. I've been going here since I was a child. We get a lot of comfort from having it here because we know we are going to be treated well. The community would not be the same without it. It is a definite jewel in our crown in Charlestown. Charlestown, congratulations on your 50th anniversary. Um, I hope you know that I've always felt that the health centers here at MGH are really our crown jewels, and uh, I'll probably get into trouble for this, but Charlestown, you are the crown jewel of the health centers. Congratulations. I came to the health center in 1980. Accepting the offer to join the mental health unit was one of the best decisions of my life. The 38 years since then have been exciting and rewarding beyond anything I could have imagined. I think it is the people that I worked with and the people that I worked for that have made the journey so great. Some of the people I work with, my colleagues, have become friends for life. I'll admit that one even became my wife of 36 years. However, it is the people I worked for, the patients who trusted me with their stories. They have made the time here truly unforgettable. They allowed me into their lives, which ultimately has made me a better person. And we took the, uh, the stairs up to the third floor. I was amazed to see what looked like a greenhouse. Uh, there was glass, uh, uh, opaque glass uh, windows on the, on the ceiling, and there were little tiny toilets and sinks. And uh, this was a, a, a large room that was set up for the uh, treatment of uh, the prevention of rickets in children um, uh, 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 of Charlestown. The other thing I was struck by was uh, in, in, on the first floor, way in the back, was a very large structure which had all kinds of cubbies in it, and there were some benches around. And this was for the uh, Well Baby Clinic. Uh, children coming from Charlestown uh, would be uh, brought in uh, by their mothers to be examined uh, by a nurse and a physician, and their clothes were taken off, they're put in little tiny cubbies, and they would be taken sort of by, uh, by number to uh, be examined in one of the rooms to the side. In September of 1969, Senator Ed Kennedy uh, came to our health center I was told I'd have five minutes with them. I ended up having 45 minutes with them. I informed them of how great the unmet dental needs were in Charlestown. For adults, median age 34, 52% had no upper teeth. 34%, one out of three, had no teeth at all. And when we did screenings in the schools, 90% of the children needed dental care. Senator Kennedy was shocked. He asked me to send recommendations, which I ended up doing. 
uh, and next day in the front page of the Boston Globe, the headlines were of his visit to all the hospitals in Boston. And in the third paragraph was a write-up of the unmet dental needs here in Charlestown. When we began the dental program, within six months, we had a one-year waiting list. We developed a prevention program in the schools and also at the Charlestown Boys Club. Me agrada venir a visitar personas que me estiman y que se interesan por mi salud y por el recibimiento tan cordial y amable que me brindan. Siento que son mis amigos y mi preocupación la transforman en sonrisa y tranquilidad espiritual. Automáticamente reacciono a que todo está bien. Happy anniversary, MGH Charleston. We both arrived in Charleston in the same year, 50 years ago. And for 50 years, you have helped keep this son of Charleston healthy, happy, and wise. From dental care as a preteen, primary care as an adult, but most importantly, your commitment to community health that has allowed me to use my experiences to help others. Happy anniversary. We've both been here for over 17 years, and we've witnessed lots of changes. There have been many, many changes in staff, but then there are those that have been here forever. We've seen the building transformed, new locations added, different computer systems, and new programs and services, all to keep pace with what the community needs. One thing that hasn't changed over the years is that those who thrive here love the community. And the fact that our staff are still confused on who we are and what we do. From now on, we'll both be known as Jenda. Or Lenifer. It has been a privilege and honor to care for the families of Charlestown over the past 30 years. Forming relationships with families has led to caring for multiple generations, and I have witnessed the strength and resilience of these families in Charlestown. They have faced some of the most intractable and difficult problems in society, and it has been heartening to witness their success with the resources found in their shared values of family, faith, and community. Many families remarked that my practice of pediatrics in this health center reminded them of Dr. Jack Connolly, who started practicing pediatrics when it was the Charlestown Clinic, giving us a sense of continuity which bonded us. The families of Charlestown can look forward to a bright future with the strong foundation upon which they stand. I have been coming here to the Charlestown Health Center my whole life and I was able to find my journey of recovery here. No matter how many times I struggled, I never felt judged. My journey included jail time at a therapeutic community and then a sober house, homelessness, and then eventually getting my own apartment with my boyfriend who is now my husband and having my beautiful second daughter. When Ella was born, I knew right then and there that I needed to stay sober for this beautiful little girl who did not ask to be born. Now I work with the same outreach worker who helped me throughout my journey of recovery, but now she's my peer. I've been working for almost two years as a recovery coach. My family is thriving and I can't wait to see what else is in store for me because as long as I stay sober, anything is possible. When I first started working at the health center, the staff were all from Charlestown, and as a result, every person who came was greeted like a longtime friend, because they usually were. It was very much like living in a small town. My favorite part of my job was doing home visits to the frail elderly. It was wonderful to see them in their own environment and to figure out what was possible and what was not. I know my home visits prevented many unnecessary trips to the emergency room and often provided reassurance to the patient and their caregiver. As a nurse practitioner, I always felt valued. Our world has changed and emergency preparedness is now a high priority for the health center. My focus is on preparing staff in the event of an emergency at the health center, in their homes, where they live, or any place they might be in the world. Even though it is highly unlikely that anything terrible will happen, we practice drills and train staff regularly. Here at Charlestown Health Center, we know that the Mass General Hospital could ask us to help with a big emergency at any time, and I know we are ready. During my almost 40 years at the health center, there are many wonderful memories of staff and clients. One special part of my experience was Camp Bunker Hill. The camp was started by Tom Panowitz. It was an attempt 
to get the youth of Charlestown out of their city day-to-day -day experiences into a more natural environment. Tom started by borrowing a station wagon and taking as many children as he could fit into that car, the White Mountains. I was losing more and more patients to opiate overdose deaths, so I was excited to take the first buprenorphine training in Boston in 2003. My first few patients were huge successes and they told all their buddies. By the end of my first month, I'd hit my federally mandated 30 patient limit and had a waiting list of over 100 patients. I'll never forget the public meeting we organized to tell the community about this new medication in our second floor conference room. Two of my patients came to discuss their recovery. It was standing room only. I came to Bunker Hill Health Center, or as most of the patients called it, the clinic, in 1972 as a dental assistant. The dental unit, funded by the city of Boston, saw patients of all ages, but Charlestown children under the age of 12 received free dental care. The dental unit closed in the early 80s, but 20 years later when I was a nurse in dermatology, I would see many of the same patients, their parents, and their children. As a new principal at the Warren Prescott School, I was interested in having the school meld with the Charlestown community. One of the first Charlestown organizations to reach out to us was the Charlestown Health Center. Many individuals, particularly Patricia Simpson, a nurse who worked at the center and lived in the community, adopted the Warren Prescott and helped make it one of the most sought after schools in Boston. In pediatrics, we always had to give so many vaccines. It was really never my favorite thing to do. I didn't want the kids to be upset with me. There were so many shots for those tiny little legs. I worked as fast as I possibly could, tried to soothe the kids, and then pass them on to their parents as quick as possible. I do remember it being difficult to do eye exams. We had to do them in the hallway and people were walking in between us and the kids were opening and closing their eyes. It wasn't easy to get through. For most of the past 20 years, it's been my distinct honor to have worked collaboratively with the staff and administration of the MGH Charlestown Healthcare Center to develop programs, seek grant funding, and bring new resources into the health center to help address community needs. Some of these grants have included funding for programs in asthma, community outreach, emergency preparedness, hepatitis C, office-based addiction treatment, smoking cessation, and the walking club. It's been amazing to watch the growth and development of these programs and who have played a small part in bringing new resources into the community. Congratulations on your 50th anniversary. Originally, I was the van driver. Um, the van had been donated by the Flatley Company to transport our elderly and disabled patients who lived in Charlestown to their appointments at the health center. Uh, patients have always been appreciative of the ride and our time with them. Uh, I recall a patient telling me, uh, sometimes you get bad news when coming to the doctors, but it's always so nice to see your smiling face. Uh, it makes my day a little better. Uh, it feels so good to know how something so small as a ride and a conversation and a smile can help people. I grew up in Charlestown and the health center was where everyone went. I get my care here, my grandmother, both my parents, my sisters, as well as our husbands. My doctors know about my family dynamics and genetics. That really is the meaning of having primary care and the care here is exceptional. MGH Charlestown has always been a center of the community. It's more diverse than people realize. I experienced this as part of providing interpreter services and outreach to the different populations of Charlestown. The townies were always our biggest group of patients over many generations. There has also been a well-established African-American population and people of Latino and Chinese heritage who moved to the neighborhood as more housing became available. We generally provided interpretation services to Spanish speakers and often became the first point of contact for whatever needs they had. I had the great privilege of working with many community agencies who partnered with us to get residents whatever they needed. As physical therapists, we get to know our patients' needs and challenges. Often, we help them through new and difficult situations in their lives. The community has put its trust in our skills whenever they are facing a major surgery or recovery from an injury. I often find it gratifying 
whether it's bumping into a former patient down at the mall or a patient jogs by you, giving you the thumbs up. It's always nice when they voice their appreciation and you see them overcome their injuries. Being embedded here at the health center has given us the opportunity to know people and being convenient to get to has made them want to come to us. It is rewarding to be part of the healthcare team for Charlestown. When I came to Charlestown in 1981, things were slower. There were only three doctors and we had no computers, no MRIs, and CAT scans were fairly new. We did have stacks of paper records and Jenny's subs was the only option for lunch. There were challenges, but I always felt proud that we delivered good care to our patients. We were a medical home long before the concept became widespread. 40 years, where did the time go? I've had the privilege to meet several generations of families. That's been a great joy. I know that the people recognize me and know I have worked here for a long time. I think I'm the longest employed person in the history of the health center right now. It's been a great organization to be part of. The Charlestown Health Center has been part of my family's lives for years. My mom, Clara Mahoney, worked here when it just opened and had a great career serving the community that she loved for over 30 years. That's what made it special for her, giving back to the community that she was proud to call home. I have worked for the Mass General Police and Security Department for close to 30 years and receive my care as a small child here as well. I'm happy to say that my sons are also fortunate to get their care here. Keep up the great work and congratulations on this great milestone. After raising my family in Charlestown, I was fortunate to spend over 10 years working in the management office. Not only did I enjoy my position there, but it was a pleasure to have had the opportunity to become acquainted with my coworkers, as well as employees from Chelsea, Revere and the main campus. Every day held different challenges and it was a rewarding experience overall. I am pleased to be a part of this historical celebration. As we were preparing for this 50th celebration, I was reminded of so many wonderful people and community events. The 73 High Street building is a City of Boston building that we have been fortunate to occupy. There have been many renovations as we have worked to make the building more accessible to patients. We have enlarged areas to give staff and patients more space and worked to maintain its historic character while making it welcoming and up to date. The thing that has not changed is that the health center and our staff have always been woven into the fabric of the Charlestown community. Charlestown, like other communities, wrestles with the issues of everyday life, including economic struggles, health issues, low literacy, and the pursuit of educational opportunities, securing childcare, supporting its elders, the impact of substance use and managing anxiety, depression, and often major mental illness. The mental health clinic provided significant care to adults and children. We even went out to the schools to make sure children got the needed care. More recently, our staff went to work with the local trauma support team. We worked hard to build Charlestown's resilience because tending to its welfare is why we were there. When I first met Lauren Glickman, I knew she was the whole doctor package. Sharp clinical skills with a warm and caring approach. Finding a doctor like her was the equivalent to hitting the healthcare lottery. As her patient, she came to know me clinically, of course, but as a person, she gets me. She has great compassion. Even though she's got a very busy practice, Lauren never failed to involve herself in my care. She knows things that are important in my life, my moods, my daughter's name, Mackenzie, and even occasional secrets. What a gift to have a doctor that you can count on to care and encourage you to care about yourself. Practicing primary care here in Charlestown over the past 21 years has really given me a unique opportunity to get to know both my patients and the community. I've had the chance to work with patients both through good times and through challenging times in their health and in their personal lives. Noreen and I have shared a special doctor-patient relationship over the years. Her tremendous spirit inspires me and I'm grateful for the trust she has placed in me with her medical care. We both care deeply about Charlestown and we have had the joy of greeting each other with a hug at 20 Bunker Hill Day parades. <laughs> there aren't many primary care doctors who have had a job experience that rewarding. 
I came to MGH Charlestown in 2004 to work with my mentor, Mark Eisenberg, at the dawn of what we now know as the opioid crisis, of which the neighborhood of Charlestown was an early epicenter. Upon arrival, it became clear that the opioid crisis in Charlestown brought with it not only acute overdose, but also a whole new epidemic of hepatitis C infection among young adults. And while this infection was curable, the treatments were difficult and we needed to get it to our patients. So we decided that rather than trying to get our patients to specialists at the main hospital, we needed to try to bring hepatitis C treatment here. Today, treatments are easier and the other MGH health centers have joined in. We can now envision the possibility of eradicating hepatitis C, even as the opioid crisis rages on. I have been a patient at the Charleston Healthcare Center my whole life. I always have felt comfortable and certain that I would get nothing but the best from the MGH staff. I have been receiving care at MGH Charlestown since I was a baby. I just recently turned 19 and over the years, no matter what the circumstance, I have always felt like I was a priority when I went in. My mom had the same pediatrician as me and my sister. A lot of kids get scared or nervous when they go to the doctor, but it was never like that for me and my sister Olivia. We always felt like they knew us and were happy to see us. In 2008, when I was the administrative director, I received a call to attend a meeting with City of Boston Mayor Tom Menino, who was very concerned, as we were, about the high rates of substance use in Charlestown. The mayor asked, why can't MGH do more? I explained we needed space, and he said, if you need space, I will find you space. In April of that year, our counseling center at 76 Monument Street in Boston Housing Authority opened with a mission to broaden mental health and substance use services in the community. We quickly added staff and now over 10 years later, the health center continues to serve the community at two locations. I have 24 years of good memories and the joy of helping patients in the mental health department was so satisfying. I do miss it all. Happy 50th. I worked with the Charlestown Substance Abuse Coalition in the beginning. We partnered closely with the health center to try to address the overdoses and deaths that were occurring. Together we learned about the crisis in Charlestown and across the city. We hoped that by collecting and sharing data, we could make a difference. We created awareness about the issue and an early willingness for the community to recognize that it needed to help heal itself. I would have hoped that this terrible problem would have been solved by now, but there is more work to be done. My 12 years at the health center from 1978 to 1990 had a tremendous impact on me. It exposed me to real health care in the context of families and community with close working relationships between healthcare disciplines and specialties. It allowed me the privilege of making home visits and showed me the pride so many of the people working there had in being part of providing care to their own town. There is a long history of teaching here at MJH Charleston Health Center with many of the doctors, nurses, and others participating. I've been teaching for the last 27 years ever since I started working here. The students and the young doctors are very bright, idealistic, and clearly enhance our patients' care. I'm so grateful to our patients who are wonderful teachers themselves. They are honorary medical school professors. Yeah, I'm a lifelong townie, so the health center has been part of my whole life. The professional and personal relationships continue to enrich my life. The health center has been involved with the recovery community for almost 40 years with weekly recovery meetings. The staff at the health center has been instrumental in helping us build the Charlestown Men's Recovery House 10 years ago. Looking forward to another 50 years, if somebody would please tell my doctor. So much has changed since when I first started at the health center almost 30 years ago. We didn't have computers, we had appointment books that we flipped through to make appointments in pencil because any cancellations or changes meant we had to erase it. Each morning, we would go to the medical records department and pull paper charts for every person coming in. Over time, the files got so thick and heavy that we needed a cart to move them between floors. I'm the fitness instructor. They brought me on to help improve staff health and morale. Today, we offer fitness classes four days a week, and recently, I've added a complimentary fitness class for community residents and we do it all in a conference room. The best part is seeing staff make new choices. I have one who now runs races and another who lost 50 pounds. 
It's so rewarding to be part of an organization that really helps its staff be healthy. As the practice liaison in pediatrics, I work with the primary care practices and the child mental health team to engage patients in care as early as possible. My role was to ensure that appointments were kept, referrals were completed, and that the plan of care was working. I was basically the bridge between the patient and the providers. My role was to engage and build trusting relationships with families, especially families with chronically ill children. There were times that I would um, accompany a family to their meeting at school to be sure the plan worked at home and in school. I was providing them with emotional support and connecting them to resources while building their self-efficacy skills so that eventually they would become their own advocates. The Health Center has been essential to fulfilling the mission of Massachusetts General Hospital. Early in my career at MGH, I was at a health center function where Dr. Peter Slavin, the CEO of the hospital, spoke. It made quite an impression on me when he said that there was nothing at MGH he was more proud of than the health centers. Toward the end of my career, I attended a celebration at MGH Charlestown recognizing its substance use services. I was moved to tears by the story a young woman told. She was a patient who'd been clean for over a year. As she held her infant daughter, here's what she said about the care she received from her primary care doctor at the health center. He treated me with respect and caring, like a person, not a drug addict. He made it possible for me to have a life again. It's stories like these, and there are many of them, which make me proud to be part of the MGH Health Center's growth and development. I started to work here when it was the Bunker Hill Community Health Center. There was no resident parking at that time, only alternate side of the street parking. I loved working here. The patients, the team in adult medicine, in fact the entire health center was one large family. I was the first nurse case manager which allowed me to know my patients and patients' families intimately. This meant helping patients with whatever was needed, including visiting nurses, home medical equipment, transportation, and support when they had no one except us at the health center. Many of these patients never knew that it was the fabulous, caring team at the health center that kept them living at home as long as possible. When I look back at my time at the health center, I have a special fondness for the towny women who worked with me. Local staff always gave fully of themselves because they knew they were helping the community. Local residents who worked here were always great ambassadors for MGH. Youth care grew out of Camp Bunker Hill and we were successful in working with children on the autism spectrum. Then those children grew into adults and we were still helping them achieve success. It was in 2011 when we changed our name to Aspire, which signified helping these folks to become what they aspire to be in school, family, and careers. Today, even though we have moved to a site in Lexington, we still run a summer program in Charlestown and know that our roots are here at MGH Charlestown. I have been a patient at the MGH Charlestown Healthcare Center my whole life. Now my own children receive their care at the health center. It doesn't stop there. I am also an employee of the Mass General Hospital and I work closely with the health center to care for those who struggle with substance use disorder. I've witnessed firsthand as a patient and an employee how far MGH Charleston will go to help people be healthy. Charleston's health problems are complicated and the health center continues to work with everyone in the community to be sure they are as healthy as can be. Congratulations on celebrating the 50th anniversary. I remember the celebration for 25 years. Go on live with patient care information system in the electronic medical record. Working with a great group of secretaries, it was very successful. On the, uh, on the second floor in the front, it, and there was a uh, small office, and there was a man sitting in that who had a whole bunch of, of ceramic policemen. And he was the man who was uh, uh, helping uh, prisoners uh, let out of the Charlestown jail. They were given a, uh, a $10 and, a, and, and some clothes uh, in their discharge. And that was his function. Yeah. Some of my fondest memories and some of my proudest sort of thoughts really um, revolve around patient care and the real feeling that I was able to help a whole bunch of people 
um, with their health issues. And sometimes the health issues were extremely complicated um, and also many times would be impacted by many um, societal as well as family issues. Um, for example, um, a, 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 a woman who might have a son in jail uh, or uh, <clears throat> there might be some uh, evidence of abuse in the family. Um, people who had phobias who didn't want to cross bridges. You know, there were all kinds of those sorts of things we ran into. But it was a sort of feeling of, of accomplishment, though, when we were able to, when, when I was able to help a lot of these people and sort of look back on it and say, wow, you know, that was, we really were able to help those folks. <laughs> my, my favorite part of working in Charlestown, though, is, is taking care of multiple generations of families and getting mm -hmm. to know them gradually over the years, including the families that you used to care for. And there's nothing, I, I agree with you, there's nothing more rewarding, and I feel it's a real privilege to be a part of their lives as their physician. Yes. And I'm always especially proud to hear one of my patients ask after you and recall you with such deep fondness after all these years. I used yes. to love visiting a former patient of yours who has since passed in her home here in town. She would always ask after her boyfriend and fondly recall your heavy work boots and the pipe she bought you and how you stayed most of the night in their home when her brother was ill. It's, it's those connections that, that you established back in 1968 um, that, that we're still able to keep going um, that make the Charlestown Health Center a, a really special place to work. Congratulations to MGH Charlestown on your 50th anniversary. MGH formally added community health to our mission statement in 2007, but it's always been in our DNA. That's why more than 50 years ago when the health center movement was founded, MGH created the Bunker Hill Community Health Center, one of the first hospital licensed health centers in the country. Today, you're known as MGH Charlestown. You're still doing important, valuable work in the community. Here's to another 50 years.